arena playing on a court like this in front of well, I mean, your own competition, but how did it feel? It was good. Uh, it's the second time playing out here in front of all the fans. It was crazy for a blue and white scrimmage. I uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, we got a lot of things to work on, but it was great to get out here and play in front of the fans. Why do you think so many guys were cramping? Uh, probably just pre pre game, not drinking a lot of water, Gatorade, and just getting hydrated before the game. Uh, we had a lot of guys cramp up, and Cal wasn't really happy about that, but we'll definitely get that fixed before uh, next Friday. Yeah, Cal said that uh, double practice. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to be honest, make sure we drink water, stretch, all that, because he's not going to slow down because we got a lot of work to do. You, you made some perimeter shots. That's mm -hmm. kind of been a question about this team. Yes, sir. Is there going to be enough perimeter shooting? What do you th how did you think tonight went in that regard? Uh, I thought I thought I shot the ball fairly well. Uh, I could have shot better. The whole team could have shot better. We had some guys that knocked down some some good shots, but like I said, we still got Shea. He didn't really shoot that many shots. He could really shoot the ball. We got to get him to shoot the ball. Win. He shot the ball really well. Uh, how he can shoot still, but he's still working on his jump shot. But we, we all can shoot jump shots and make them. So we just got to make sure that we can get consistent with it and make sure opponents know that we can knock it down. How much are you expecting opponents to maybe clog the lane and mm -hmm. invite you guys to beat them? From oh, yeah. The first, the first like first 10 games, we'll probably get all just closing, and making us shoot jump shots because they know we all can drive. And it's kind of hard stopping us when we drop the basketball because we can get a lot of foul calls. But yeah, the first couple of games, it's going to, the lane's going to be clogged. we got to knock down shots so that they can kind of break that up and kind of play us like how we want them to. Kevin, you're listed as a forward. Cal wants to call you a guard. What do you prefer yourself as? What do you see yourself as? Uh, I see myself as a positionless player. Just like Cal, Cal calls us all positionless player. That's how I think I am. I mean, uh, I say forward and guard. I can play pretty much any position. Cal wants me to call me a guard, so that's how I'm going to play because I'm going to do whatever he tells me to, to do whatever i got to do to win. So. I mean, Cal, he wants me to play guard and be able to handle the ball, shoot the ball, uh, be able to rebound and push. So uh, I saw a glimpse of those tonight, and we're going to get more of that this season. Cal said the, to us that he wants P.J. to have a higher motor, mm -hmm. I guess, play harder. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, how hard is P.J. playing? It looks to me like he's playing hard. He's, he's playing hard, but I think he, he has another, another uh, gear that he can go to. Uh, PJ is really unstoppable when he's going to the basket. You see that tonight. He got a lot of foul calls, got to the basket a lot in the first half. Uh, when he catches the ball on the elbow and just goes straight to the basket, it's either a make or it's a foul. Uh, PJ is really aggressive, and I think Cal just wants him to get more more uh, motor when it comes to rebounding. I think he had like six rebounds, but PJ can really average a double double if he wanted to. Uh, me, PJ, Winion. Uh, Nick, we all can we all can average double doubles if we really want to. I think that's what Cal's saying. That that motor comes in. That PJ really needs to be able to rebound because he gets the rebound, he's able to push too. So that's another another thing that's so good about us. We all get rebounds to be able to push the basketball. Can you kind of get a glimpse of what this season is going to be like playing out here in Rough Arena in front of the crowd? Man, how fun is this going to be for you? Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're a hard rising team. We love dunks, alley oops. And that's why a lot of, a lot of the crowd, every time we dunk the ball, got crazy. So that's what all, we, all, we all can do. Quaddy is really good at throwing lobs. Uh, Shea is really good at getting to the basket, throwing lobs. Nick dunks pretty much everything. Me, PJ on the breaks. Hami, ridiculous, probably most bounciest player in the in, in NCAA. So it's definitely going to be a fun year. A lot of alley-oops, a lot of dunks, a lot of jump shots, defense, the fast break. So I'm really looking forward to it. But right now we got a lot of work to do. How surprised were you, uh, Kevin, that uh, there were empty seats? There were quite a few empty seats out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was quite a few, but, I mean, it's blue and white. It was still, I mean, it was still a lot of people for blue and white. I wasn't expecting as many people, but uh, it, was, it was still empty seats, but I'm pretty sure once the season starts, there'll be no empty seats. It'll be packed every night. Kevin, what do you guys get out of the scrimmage like this? Oh, this is, we, we can see where we're at. I mean, we can see what people show up and when the lights come on. Uh, we've been practicing every day. Not that many people are watching us, but... Now you got thousands of people watching us, see who's going to be able to step up, knock shots down, who's going to be able, who's going to get frozen in the spotlight. So this was good for us to see what guys can step up, what we got to, got to work on. I mean, we, tonight we can see that we played a full 40 minute game. We have some guys cramping up. Uh, we cramped up in the first 20 minutes. We was running clock, so we still got a lot of work to do, a lot of conditioning, and we can go from here.